Hey, what's up guys? We got a new bounty today, Cecil Tucker. Gonna go ahead and do a little bit of gameplay, some tips, although this one's pretty easy. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch the trailer if you haven't already, and I'll be back shortly. This little son of a bitch, Cecil Tucker. <laughs> His crime was cowardly, killing good folks in their sleep. And he's been a coward ever since running off and hiding out but i'll tell you what if your crimes are heinous enough they're gonna catch up with you i hear he went to the lemoyne raiders over near fort brennan hoping they'd protect him and most probably they will <laughs> up to a point So I'd come ready for underhand tactics of some sort. So this bounty takes place at the fort near the Kamasa River. Just some general rules, maybe use some tonics, have a good weapon loadout, possibly a repeater or a rifle, a shotgun, some handguns. You'll notice in this clip I end up using my handguns a lot just because I don't get to use them that often. But most of the enemies are going to be inside the fort. There is only a couple outside, so maybe single them out. Use the hills or some of these little barricades or barrels as cover. Proceed with caution, though, because there are explosives, and you don't want to end up getting shot next to one of them or have them shoot those and blow you up and waste one of your lives. But just go ahead and make your way into the fort. Kill all the enemies. You will notice that this mission is separated into two parts. There's the initial ambush, and then you'll see what comes up next. So at this point, I think I killed everybody. I'm kind of like, what the hell's going on? Where is everybody? Um, you know, didn't know what to expect. Started doing a little bit of searching. But pretty soon, you end up finding out where exactly these dudes are. They're all surrounded the fort. They're throwing dynamite. And they all come charging at you from a couple different areas. So maybe just pick the best area to go ahead and start singling these guys off one by one. Basically, what I did, just run around, you know, use some cover if you need to. Duck so you're not getting shot by a bunch of them. And uh, keep your distance. I ended up using my tonic now because I wasn't expecting that little uh, ambush to happen there. I was kind of caught off guard for a second. So I'm just going to run around, single these guys off, take them out. And then pretty soon you will see where it says dispatch the enemies. It'll say, you know, take out Cecil Tucker. He's wanted dead or alive, blah, blah, blah. So at that point, he's going to be near a carriage with some other guards. I kind of just made my way over. I wasn't sure if he was going to take off and uh you know try to book it and i had to chase him but you'll see this one's actually very easy there are a decent amount of enemies but they don't really come and surround you too much as long as you kind of run around and uh you know keep your head on a swivel make sure you know what's going on look at your mini map like i said though this one was a little too easy obviously this is the first time that i'm doing it i'm sure once you start running through it a couple more times the enemies will be a little bit more aggressive there'll probably be more of them and maybe it might change the outcome of what Cecil actually does. You'll see coming up pretty soon. I was pretty shocked that it ended the way it did. I thought I would have to kill everybody and then chase him and then have people, you know, chasing us and having to fire on the run as I'm trying to take him to the jail. But that wasn't the case, so I just kind of came over here to single him out. I didn't want to kill him by accident, so I wanted to pinpoint exactly where he was, take out some of these guards. It didn't look like he was going to get in his carriage and take off. Looks like he's willing to uh, shoot it out. But after you kill a certain amount of enemies, I guess he ends up turning into a coward and ends up surrendering. I thought this was kind of just a little ploy. I thought as soon as I come and hogtie this guy, they're all going to come and, you know, bum rush me. But you end up seeing on the minimap, the red area disappeared. All the enemies ended up taking off. So apparently they ended up just abandoning him. Pretty easy from this point, at least on the first try. I just threw him on my horse, took him to jail. Worst part about this part is he does not shut up. No matter how many times you whack him in the face, two seconds later, he's back to talking and rambling like a little baby. But that's basically it. There's no point in showing the rest of this because nothing happens. I basically take him to the jail, smack him in the face a couple of times, listen to him ramble a little bit, and uh, that's really about it. So, I ended up just rushing through this one. I ended up getting 300 XP, 375 bounty XP, $30, and 36 gold nuggets. However you choose to go about this, you might be able to get yourself some more XP, cash, and gold if you end up waiting it out. But I really didn't feel like doing that, so that's basically it. Pretty easy the first time through. You can do it 
no problem by yourself. Might be fun, obviously, with more friends. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.